What is up you guys? Good morning. Today we are talking about backpack blowers and why are they so important? I can honestly tell you I see more often than not that a lot of companies, a lot of newer companies, older companies, they tend to use these big old leaf blowers like the, the big Red Max, they use the PB9010 or they're using the BR800s on their daily mowing routes. Today, we're getting down to the numbers and I wanna show you guys how important it is to make sure that you're using a much smaller model when it comes to daily mowing route. On a daily route, let's for average, let's just say people are mowing 40 yards a week, right? When you have to bring this thing out, you know, eight hours a week, eight hours total, eight work hours total, you're gonna be going through gas. And not only that, the weight behind them too, they're heavy. Like when you fill this PB9010T up with gas all the way, which most of you are gonna be using this with gas in it, not empty, it's close to 30 pounds, you guys. It is a monster machine, it really is. And when you're picking that up and you're throwing it over your back, and remember, you have to do that twice for every single yard. So if you're doing what, eight yards a day, because we're doing 40 yards a week, I mean, you have to take it off, you gotta start it, you gotta throw it on your back, and then you gotta, you use it for literally a couple minutes, and then you gotta take it back off, and then you gotta put it back on the rack, or throw it in the bed of your truck, whatever it is that you do. Like, think of those repetitions, you guys. That is so ridiculous. You're doing 80 of those repetitions a week with a 30 pound backpack blower. I mean, come on. And it's already 110 degrees outside. Like, don't kill yourself. The, the other model that I have is the 570 BTS. And I bought this one literally four years ago, five years ago now. And it packs a punch. So this one has 1,110 CFM and it blows like 220 miles an hour. And then that one is at 950 or 940, something like that. So it's really not that, I mean, you're not losing that much power, but you can see the size difference in the two. This is a monster. This thing will, I mean, if I put this in front of that leaf blower, you wouldn't even see it. Let's get into the actual facts and the actual numbers, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys some numbers and we're gonna be using $4 a gallon for the gas prices. $4 a gallon, eight hours per week, one unit, and then 27 weeks out of the year. So if you use the Echo PB770T, eight hours a week, 27 weeks out of the year, at $4 a gallon, it's going to cost you $655. $655 just to use that blower. When I seen these numbers, I was like, dude, seriously? And then mine that's sitting right here that I had no idea, because it is pretty powerful, but this one, I just realized it is $709 per 27 week. Now, another one is the Red Max EBZ 8500. And that one comes in at a whopping $819 for gas for the, the, the season. So we're gonna talk about the Steel BR600. This one is only $582 to run that for the season. You guys, what a monster difference. It's You save yourself $237 a year by running that 600 versus that big Red Max. Now, I know what you guys are all asking. You're like, get to the big ones, get to the big ones. I'm going to. When you're up in the six, seven, $800 range for fuel, it makes a difference, you guys. And especially if your gas is more or if you're running it even longer, like if you're running it for 16 hours a week, whoo, you're up in the thousands you guys thousands so keep that in mind the size of the blower makes a huge difference so now let's get into the big boys now if you're going to use the br 700 that one's going to bring you 572 dollars a year so the br 600 actually uses more gas than the br 700 the br 800 is a whopping 668 dollars on this big boy list we got here we have the Echo PB8010, and from my understanding, that is the one just before the 9010, and that is a big mower. That is a big blower, big big blower, you guys. And the 8010, just saying this number is just like bleh. the 8010 uses 915 dollars 
per season at that $4 a gallon, eight hours a week, 27 weeks, 915, almost $1,000 just to use the 80-10, not even the 90-10. So I can tell you that this thing is over $1,000 if we're talking about the same specs, the same 27 weeks, the same hours. This thing is gonna run you over $1,000. That is insane, you guys. That is insane. A simple change, like, Instead of using the PB9010, you just go to a much smaller blower. And after reading this list, I think mine's going to be the BR700 because you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get the power, and then you also get the gas savings, which is monstrous. Especially for those of you that have 100 clients, 200 clients. I mean, I'm talking 40 clients here, you guys. So if you're doing 100 clients, you're talking almost $2,500 just to run this backpack blower for the season for your clients in that 27 week season. That is insane. I am very excited about this information. Um, I am really gonna do some research on the BR700s. I don't know if they're garbage. I've never used the steel backpack blowers ever. I mean, I've seen them, I've watched videos on them. I've watched the PB9010 absolutely destroy any backpack blower that people try to say is better. And I also, from my understanding, Red Max has another one, which is like a 9500, I believe it's what it's called. And those numbers are gonna be up there with the PB numbers as, as well. Yes, these things can move logs, these can move bricks and sticks and massive leaf piles across the yard. And that's what they were built for, you guys. These were built to blow massive piles of leaves. These were not built so that somebody that has 30 yards can buy this blower and use it on their daily route. I, th that is not why they were made. So if you wanna save yourself a crap ton of money, when it comes to gas, I would highly consider switching to a different blower. Hop on your Facebook Marketplace and see if you can find uh, the Steel 600 or the Steel um, 700s. If you can get a, your hands on a BR700, it sounds like that's gonna be your best gas saving that you can come up with. And if you have one of these PB9010s like I do, that's totally fine. There is a time and a place for this blower. On your daily mowing routes, Absolutely not. So now that I know what I know, I'm definitely gonna be looking at a BR700. But you guys, when it comes to lawn care, one of, if not the biggest expense that we use is fuel. You guys do me a huge favor and smash that like button. When you do, it helps me out so much and allows me to, to just show these videos off to so many more people and then maybe we can stop people from making these huge mistakes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.